let's talk about solar power in West Virginia. There is basically none. We get 93% of our electricity from coal-fired electric power plants, but there's no reason it has to be this way. In fact, there's a new bill, HB 2589, otherwise known as the Modern Jobs Act, that would change all of this. But to make that happen, you have to email this guy, Jim Butler, and tell him to put the Modern Jobs Act on the agenda. Here's why that matters. One. By not having any clean energy sources in our state, we are actively preventing new businesses from coming here. And two, we have miles and miles of degraded land, degraded from things like coal mining, that aren't being used for anything now, but are perfect for solar farms. But let's back up a sec, because maybe you're like me and you thought that we just don't do solar power in West Virginia because we are not the sunniest place in the world. But that's not the case. Just look at the number of jobs that solar energy supports in our neighboring states. Check out Ohio. Now, Ohio also isn't particularly sunny, but they have over 6,500 jobs from solar power. To put that number in perspective, the coal industry, which again provides 93% of West Virginia's electricity, only employs 13,000 West Virginians. We always talk about helping out of work coal miners get back to work Let's do that with solar power. Or look at North Carolina. There it is pretty sunny. It's actually the second highest producer of solar power next to California. But what's really interesting there is that they employ something called the solar shepherd phenomenon, meaning they combine solar farms with sheep farms. And they do this because one of the highest costs of operating a solar farm is literally maintaining the land, like hours and hours of mowing the lawn to make sure that vegetation doesn't grow over and shade solar panels. But the best thing about sheep is that they eat that vegetation, making those operating costs lower. And the sheep farmers get to diversify their land and their revenue. It's a win-win. And guess what happened when North Carolina brought solar power to their state? Companies came and they brought jobs. Because companies like Facebook and Apple and Ikea and all of these other companies have set up sustainability goals to run their operations on clean energy. What does this mean? Well, it means that if you want to attract new jobs to your state, then you better have a source of clean energy, like solar power, for them to draw from. You run your state on 93% fossil fuels? No new jobs for you. As West Virginians, we're always talking about how we can attract new companies and new jobs to our state. This is how. And yeah, North Carolina has a few dozen more sunny days each year than West Virginia. But West Virginia on average has 164 sunny days every year. And that is 164 more than zero. And here's the best part. There are a few hundred square miles of formerly mined land that are being used for absolutely nothing. In fact, According to a 2017 analysis, there are 219 square miles of degraded land that are viable for large-scale solar energy production. This is based on things like site size, proximity to electricity infrastructure, and solar irradiance levels. And we are currently using this land for nothing! We are leaving money on the table. Long story short, things don't have to be this way. There's a bill, HB 2589, otherwise known as the Modern Jobs Act, that would enable the production of solar farms throughout West Virginia. But before this bill can be voted on, it needs to be put on the agenda. And there are so many bills up for consideration, it could get lost in the noise. Make sure that doesn't happen. Email and call the chair of the Technology and Infrastructure Committee, Jim Butler, and tell him to put the Modern Jobs Act on the agenda so we can start to bring new jobs to West Virginia.